I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at using OpenAI's new Codex platform uh, to solve some coding challenges. I'm gonna grab some coding challenges um, from over here at HackerRank and uh, show you how we can use OpenAI's Codex, which is an AI-driven coding platform that was just released to solve these challenges. So firstly, here I am in the playground uh, for OpenAI. I'm a beta tester for Codex, so really excited to be doing that. And you can see I've selected that as the engine. I set a response length of about 300 tokens. Uh, you can tweak this to uh, adjust the length of the response. So firstly, I'm gonna go ahead and tell uh, Codex that this is gonna be Python uh, 3. So I just put that in a comment that alerts it to the language I wanna use. Um, now I went over to Hacker Rank and I chose a hard uh, challenge here. So you can choose different uh, difficulty levels. And I thought if we're gonna really test this, I want to um, choose something that's gonna be difficult for it to solve. So um, the cool thing with Codex is you can just give it natural language um, and it will go ahead and uh, create code from that. So I'm just gonna literally take this whole prompt um, and it's about using regex to validate zip codes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this up through the definition of what these regular expressions that it wants are. Uh, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, make this a Python comment. So basically with, uh, with Codex, it's gonna look at the comments you give it um, and then it will uh, complete the code that you're asking for. So a couple things didn't paste over because they were images. So let me go ahead and just drop those back in just from the, from the range. Uh, yeah, one, two, and let's see, I think there's one more in there. Yep, uh, down here. So this is just some uh, housekeeping, basically, uh, things that didn't copy over from hacker rank. Okay, so now we have our problem definition. You can see this is literally just a, a plain text description of what I want. Now when I run this, it's really not gonna generate Python. Uh, it's more gonna generate the actual regex is my hope. Uh, and then we can paste it in as if I you know, spent uh, 30 minutes or however long it would take me as a person to come up with the solution here and we can actually validate whether its output is right. So we should get these two uh, regular expressions. I can go ahead and stick them in there and uh, we'll see what we get. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so um, it's, you can see, started to write these. So it gave me my two regular expressions, what I was looking for here. Um, then it uh, started to write a Python program to implement them, which we don't actually need, but it makes sense because I gave it Python 3 as a prompt. Um, let's go ahead and validate whether it got the answer right. So here's, this looks like a well-formed regular expression. Let me see the uh, format here. I grab what's between the quotes there. That's my first one. You can see it got the name correct. Drop that in. And let's go ahead and submit this. It wants me to sign in. Let me go ahead and pause and do that. Okay, so I'm signed in. Let me submit this code. It's gonna go ahead and compile. It's gonna run these test cases to tell me if I got the answer right. And you can see, in fact, uh, it, it did. Um, so Codex, in fact, created the correct regular expressions that uh, hacker rank was looking for. Even though this was a hard problem, it took it probably two seconds to solve it. And uh, this uh, passes all the test cases. I don't have a paid account, so I can't see all of them, but. Uh, it did in fact validate those, uh, those zip codes using the regex that I created from Codex. So uh, you can see that's a, a challenge that would be definitely annoying and uh, time consuming for a lot of human coders to solve and uh, Codex made short work of it, solving it in uh, really like two seconds as you saw, I just wrote the regex out. Um, I could also just let it run free now and it would probably go ahead and create me a Python program Let's give it the input that I had here, um, and we can see it'll probably, yeah, um, put in these regular expressions, and uh, it'll actually give me an input to take in a P, and then it'll print the uh, uh, match or not, you know, whether these match in the length here. So it's very uh, good.
good at also writing Python code, but what I was looking for was this, and uh, that is in fact the correct answer. So pretty cool stuff with, uh, with Codex there from OpenAI.